Hey Cloud Gamers, today I am looking at the Maximum Settings Cloud PC, the 1080 versus Shadow PC Boost tier, which is also a GTX 1080, across a CPU and GPU benchmark test. So starting with the CPU test here using Cinebench. You can see that Maximum Settings rig here is way ahead on the CPU benchmark. Maximum Settings uses a KVM processor in the 1080 with supposed 16 cores. And you can see that at work here. See it's miles ahead of the Shadow Boost CPU, which often people complain about being the bottleneck for the Shadow Rigs. You can see that Maximum Settings has finished already. And it's got a score there of 1209 on Cinebench CPU and it has just pipped the expected result there for the common KVM processor. You see there that it's spec'd at a 16 core, 16 thread, 3.2 gigahertz CPU and the shadow has finally finished there but that's only got 4 cores, 8 threads at 2.5 gigahertz but only is given a score of 635. CPU definitely down there. Moving over to the hero test here then for the GPU side. You can see there that it was set to 1920 by 1080 full screen, all on maximum settings with VSync disabled. As we go down through the cobblestones then, you can see a little bit of stutter on both sides, but both holding into that 70 frames a second, 100 frames a second onto the ship, and things are very close, there's only a few frames per second, 3 to 5 frames per second difference between the two. But if you look at the maximum settings, CPU and GPU, GPU is hovering around the 94 to 96% mark, but the CPU is only around the 10 to 15% mark. On the shadow side, GPU is almost maxing out there, bouncing between 92 and 98% and also the CPU is a little bit higher and bouncing between the 25 and 30% mark. RAM usage is also higher on Shadow than it is on the maximum settings rig. But both are having a little stutter here and there as we go through these transitions. Both are looking absolutely fantastic. Technically they are the same graphics card, although I think the driver version is very slightly higher on the maximum settings rigs. Shadow likes to control the CPU drivers. Shadow likes to control the GPU drivers, so don't tend to upgrade them yourself because the client does it for you, or reinstalls them if you do upgrade them, so it's best to let it do it. Again, things are looking very close here. If anything, Shadow does seem a touch smoother, and I mean a touch, but then it's being a little bit jagged there. So both maximum settings and shadow PC having their moments of stutter. Quality wise, as it's the same card, I would expect the quality to be pretty much exact, and I think that's what we're seeing here. It is worth pointing out the maximum settings is a pay per hour rig, whereas Shadow Boost is a monthly subscription service. Shadow is available for around 13 to 15 pounds or dollars a month, depending on whether you commit to monthly or yearly. Maximum settings this particular rig is around 65 Canadian cents an hour. So if you use your gaming rigs for less than 40-50 hours a month, the maximum settings will work out more efficient for you. But if you are gaming for 4-5 hours a day, every day, then Shadow PC will be more useful. However, there is currently a up to 2 month wait for Shadow Boost activations. So just be warned that if you are going to go for that Shadow Boost, then make sure that you are prepared for that wait. There is a discount code in the description if you want £5 off your first month. Maximum settings are available now. Their order system is up and down as they try to regulate their orders. As they're based in Canada, you will want to do a ping test to their servers first to make sure that your ping is acceptable. 
And if you are unsure, you can always hop on their Discord, and they are very helpful there at helping you decide what rigs are available and what would be best for you. As we're approaching the end of the benchmark, then it's still very close between the two machines. And we should see those final scores. As the sun comes up over the dragons. Maximum settings average of 91.9 frames per second, whereas Shadow has 96.1. Overall score of 2315 on maximum settings, but 2420 on Shadow. You can see the min and max FPS is actually slightly better on the minimum for maximum settings, but slightly better on the maximum for Shadow Boost. So CPU isn't everything, especially when it comes to graphics, but it will be a case of personal preference and availability on these machines. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest from Cloud Gaming Extreme, and I will see you next time.